Hey guys, what's happening? So this is a follow-up video to my original, uh, you know, 3070 Hive OS uh, video. Um, so I've actually been messing with it for a couple months, and I thought I'd show you my overclock settings, which have worked for me for the last couple months. Uh, and I've actually tried so many different configurations. I've crashed this card probably at least a hundred times, you know, messing with the uh, overclocks. And this actually is the most stable I've got this card to go. Um, you know, I could actually, like I said, I could, I could bring down the, the, the wattage down a little bit. Um, so right now I'm around 120 watts, and my core is uh, NECF 200, so I'm slowing down the core, the GPU clock, you know, by 200. I've stepped up the memory to 2300, and the power limit is 120. So um, if you're going to be, if you, if you want to reduce power, you have to reduce the core clock. Um, but if, if you want to increase the hash rate, you have to increase the memory clock. So let me sh show you this real fast. And... But yeah, it's pretty basic. Um, some of the issues um, I've run into is if I try to lower the power limit down too low, um, depending on, like, on the, te the temperature, sometimes if the fans kick in, you know, they have to step up to, to cool off the uh, GPU. Um, let's say if I have my garage door closed or whatever, um, it can actually crash the card. So when I, I had this thing down to about 105 watts, but like I said, it became really picky, you know, um, and good luck trying to start up your rig. <laughs> yeah, because if your, your power limit is too low, uh, you won't be able to start, your, start mining. Like when it first starts, you sort of have like a, like a, it's sort of like a spike in power when it first starts up, when it first starts mining. Uh, I mean, depending on what miner you actually run, some will actually slowly ramp it up, but you know, sometimes if it's at the power limit is too low, it won't even actually start mining. It will just air out before it even starts to mine. So um, the best trade-off, you know, like I said, I, I could bring this down. To, I mean, I could stably bring this down to 110. But like I said, if I have some any sort of fluctuation, um, you know, with fan or whatever, um, it can actually make this thing crash. So um, and then, you know, if, you, if your GPU is crashing all the time, you're actually losing money than saving 10 watts of power. So... Yeah, again, going good. Uh, I think I, I paid seven hundred fifty dollars for this card. Um, I, I bought this thing right before they started going like crazy with the scalping. Uh, even I actually, I had sp I'd paid like a hundred dollars over over hundred hundred fifty. I can't remember over like retail. But now the same card is like selling for selling for like fourteen hundred dollars. So it's kind of crazy. I, I can't even buy any more cards because it would take forever to return. And you know, you never know like when Ethereum when they're going to convert to Ethereum two dot and get rid of mining. So. Um, yeah, because I wanted to keep on, you know, I, I do actually have quite a few um, AMD cards, and I wanted to keep on getting more NVIDIA cards because when Ethereum is up, I wanted to be able to, like, mine other coins. And the NVIDIA cards seem to be a little bit more versatile when it comes to, like, mining other coins. Whereas AMDs are kind of really for, for Ethereum, you know, you could do, like, Ravencoin and um, a few others, but it's really, uh, NVIDIA is definitely more versatile. So, um, what's it called? Cuckoo Cycle? Yeah. Yeah, you can't really do Cuckoo Cycle with uh, AMD. At least right now you can't, so. All right, guys, cool. This, so this is what's going on. It's been going for a couple months, stable like this. All right, cool card. I uh, wish I could buy more. All right, awesome. <laughs>